Hey, I love creating characters, but usually it's something out of already existing characters. But I always wanted to create my own original character. But today I do it. I finally do it. I'm happy. I was always thinking about creating characters out of fish, uh, ocean fish. It's so colorful and uh, maybe other animals. The nature already created all the most beautiful color combinations, I think. And I was always interested in this idea of creating fictional characters out of a different kind of animals with its own unique story. And that's exactly what I did. <laughs> Meet Azra. Uh, I don't know where she's gonna appear. Azra. <laughs> Meet Azra, please. please. As a base for her character, I picked this horse. The combination of the colors are just wow. I couldn't wait to try to combine it all together, but in a character. I wasn't sure which colors I'm gonna use for skin or hair. I just wanted to try it out in a couple of different ways and see if I like the result and which result I like most. But after my first study, I decided absolutely love this version with blonde, almost white hair and this chocolate skin plus black clothes. That's exactly the way I wanted her to be. Horses are very graceful animals and already I love the whole character and style, but I wanted to add a little bit of magic here, so Azra is not just a horse, she's a unicorn. Right, so I took a color palette from this horse. I also created her story based on this animal. And she's not just a horse, a unicorn, which can appear in different forms. Her natural as a unicorn <laughs> and as a human being. So, besides the colors of the horse, I also wanted to add here some intense colors to bring some bright accents. I thought this warm blue color would be just perfect here. Not warm, not violet, but very close to violet blue red hue on the color wheel. In her natural shape, this color looked the most appropriate as a horn. It's just one detail, but that's exactly what I wanted to see to not overwhelm the character with bright colors. In case with human form, I also didn't want to overwhelm the character with bright colors and I decided to make just one of her eyes to be blue. And since Azra is magical character, I think she got the powers superpowers, right? So Azra controls water. At this stage I'm just creating a character and I had no time to show it in action, her superpowers in action. But I can't wait to work on it actually, this idea is very inspiring. I don't even know yet what it's gonna be, maybe I'll draw her as a surfer, riding the waves and controlling it, or it's just gonna be a glass of water. I don't know yet, but you're not gonna miss it, because I'm totally gonna share it. When I was creating Azra the first time, I picked this woman as a reference and I decided to not change the outfit. The colors of her clothes were perfect and her style too, because that's exactly what I needed for a first study of a new character, to explore the shapes and decide what type of a body shape I want to see here. I wanted to understand it before giving her more stylized or probably oversized clothes. In process of creating Azra, I started to better understand her personality. I mean, it kind of was like she begins to come alive and uh, I could understand what her personality is like, uh, her mood and her shape. She was like telling me what I should add and what I shouldn't, how messy her hair is gonna be, how masculine her face. The original horse, which reference I used to create character, has long loose hair, but I wanted to give the character more of Rick style, so I changed the loose hair to braid. And it became clear that human Azra also should have the braids. I decided on two braids instead of just one, because I guess it's more appropriate option for a character drawing. One braid is somewhere in the back or can barely be noticeable from one of the sides. Two braids are perfect for drawing for a character, for some kind of a balance on hair, a good symmetry. And next time, when Azra was done as character, when she already knew what personality she has, I started to emphasize this personality with more bold details in clothes. I added a little bit of rock to her style, glossy leather pants. I love drawing glossy textures and in case with Azra, it perfectly matches the color of her skin and how glowing it is. The second time, I picked the reference with more confident expression and pose. Don't look at this bottle. I'm sure it's non-alcoholic. Uh, kitty sparkling wine. 
the body language here, this glance, even this bottle, all these details are just perfect for her. I decided to keep this t-shirt from the reference picture too, instead of the previous top, because uh, now I understand exactly what body shape she has and I can use different clothing elements. Okay guys, I think I'm gonna go creating Azra and her superpowers in action. Is it gonna be glass of water or waves? I don't know yet. Who knows? Ever. But I let you know. See ya.